When you're glazing something that has a lid, it's important that you don't get glaze in between um, those pieces because any glaze that's on this edge here or the corresponding edge here will melt, it'll stick, and just like glaze on the bottom will stick to the shelf, glaze on the lid will stick to the lid. Now, at school we use wax resist, but at home I've squirted out a little bit of glue uh, just onto a little lid here. And what I'm doing is I'm painting this, uh, this glue onto the rim. And I'm gonna paint it all the way around this edge. And I'm also gonna paint it slightly down the edge here. Where, how can I get it so you can see? Just a little bit down the edge. It's kind of a tedious process, but what I'll end up with is what I did over here on the lid already. Um, so I've got a little, can you see this? Um, I've got a little edge of um, the glue there and it's most of the way dry and now it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna like shoot this glaze away. But what that means is when I paint this glaze up to that edge, we should see that it a little bit doesn't want to absorb into there. It's gonna stay, I can, I'm not sure if you can see the difference, but I can see a little difference at that edge, just a little bit raised up. And then later on, when this part is drying, where, where it's touching the clay, that glaze is drying. In a moment, where it's touching the, uh, it'll be totally dry on the clay, but where it's on the glue, it won't dry all the way. And so it'll be really easy for me to take a sponge and just wipe that off of there. I'm gonna do that on any edges that are touching each other. It's also important that particularly on the top, I put a little bit, I, I clean up just a little bit up that edge on the lid so that the glaze can't run down and cause it to stick.